The bounce house, and it's easy to see why they call it that. Home of the Knights of UCF. What do you think about that? And this crowd is ready for a big one. Today, a couple of squads here to square off in a Big 12 showdown. As we'll see, the Colorado Buffaloes taking on the UCF Knights. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Buffaloes will kick it off to get us underway. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So UCF's offense takes the field. And this wide receiver, he's the linchpin to the offense. They want to make sure they find a multitude of ways to get him the football. And it's a risk-reward scenario on defense when you're trying to cover this guy, Reese, because you play man coverage, you risk him running by you and catching deep balls, you play too much zone, and then he can hurt you after the catch. A lot of different ways that this guy is very dangerous. And I tell you what, we can focus on the left side of the line of scrimmage because that's the way, that's where the play starts. But you don't get big gains when you run out wide unless wide receivers, yes, wide receivers, commit to blocking, staying on their guys. Really good job on the outside by giving the running back space to make the big play. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The Knights want to move quickly. Leaves it with the back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Line is set on third down. Now on the move. And this one will be stopped for no gain. The Knights will try to pin them back with the punt. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Excellent job on the punt. Bounces out of bounds at the five, and they'll have 95 yards to go in front of them. So the Colorado Buffaloes offense will go to work for the first time. You know, yards figure to be hard to come by through the air, but some quarterbacks, Jesse, just love to go at the star corner. Yeah, and this guy's got confidence. He's not afraid to go at anybody, but he better be careful because this cornerback is one of the best in the nation. One of the best, no doubt. And I think they will trust him on defense to make plays. So you got to make a decision. Is my guy good enough to beat him on the outside? I am fascinated by this matchup. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Looking to throw, it's Sanders. Makes the grab on the left. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. And listen, you get zone coverage, and you can hit that curl route, and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. A lot of yardage in front of them. First and 10 from their own 19. Here's the handoff. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. 
Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll run the option. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. The Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. The give to the tailback. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. And the Buffaloes will snap it on first and ten. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. Makes the catch. It's Hunter. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. Well, the short passing game is a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play. So this can certainly open things up later. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Give to the back. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs, but I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Third and short coming here right from the midfield strike. They'll try to get it through the air. Grab near the marker, it's Hayden. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. And that wasn't easy. Hitch route on third down with tight coverage. The receiver doing a great job shielding the defender away from him, catching it and getting the first. They've crossed midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. Looking for room. It's Hayden. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just choose up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. Here. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. They'll run play action. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. Well, when you're throwing these comeback routes, man, the timing has got to be so good between the two of them because you know the ball is going to be in the air a long time. You can't throw it late. It's going to get picked. That time, really nice job getting it out early, and the receiver doing a nice job on his route so that the ball was right on him as soon as he turned around. Coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Boy, if that first down play was any indication, they might walk this thing in on second and goal. 
They'll try to pound their way in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Colorado! That drive was what every father wants his daughter's romances to be like. Slow, take your time, <laughs> drain the clock, no hurry at all. Sometimes love is a slow burn, and that's what we just saw in that last drive. I am so impressed with the execution, and I love their ability to run the football. These players, they're coached up. They're coming out here, and they're executing exactly how their coaches prepared them to do in this game. On to attempt the try. And the extra point makes it 7-0. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. Dropping back, it's Jefferson. Fires to the wideout. Tip ball, put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Zone coverage that time, and the cornerback, a nice job with his eyes. He's watching the quarterback. He sees the ball thrown, so he knows exactly when to break on it. He's able to break it up for an incompletion. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Makes his man miss. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. The Knights moving quickly to the line. From the gun on third down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Hudson. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. The Knights will have it first and ten. They'll test the right side. Makes him talk to the hand. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. This running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not a really huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, yeah, you know what, let his talent do the rest. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Hand off from the gun. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. The Knights are on the move. Out of the gun, the give to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. That's caught. It's Hudson. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Unloads it left. 
All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Knights! What a catch and run for six. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up for the PAT. And it's up and good. They put together an 81-yard drive, and the score comes on a pass from 40 yards out. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Caught in the backfield, it's Hunter. At the 40, there he goes. And he's running in the open. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Bucks! And once he got loose, it was all over. Quick strike touchdown comes out and jump starts the offense. And man, we see this in college football so much explosiveness and firepower, and we get high scoring game after high scoring game, and it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The kickoff team on the field, and he ought to just boom this thing through the end zone with that extra 15 yards on the penalty. The offense lining up for a first down play. From the gun, running back on the move. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defender being a heat seeking missile he was on radar lock he found the football and flew down with some bad intentions the Knights want to pick up the tempo they'll ride the running back and leave it with him he's knocked down in the backfield he'll lose a couple while the linebacker showing you read and react, he knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. And the running game has collapsed so far on this drive, and now it's third down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. The Knights decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. 
Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. On the run, it's Hayden. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Got a man. It's Hunter. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that how about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? You know, it's so important for corners to be able to transition, right? You got to have real loose hips. You got to be able to change direction on a dime. And in zone coverage, when you see the ball thrown, you can break on it and force incompletions like that. Now on second down after the incompletion. They'll run it from the gun. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. The Buffaloes in the hurry up. Back to pass, it's Sanders. He's got his man. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. He leaves it with his back. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. They come to the line three yards away from the first down marker. They've converted twice on this drive. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Oh, what a move! And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. And the Buffaloes will snap it on first and ten. They're looking to pass from the red zone. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. And perfect timing. Got there right when the ball got there. Didn't get there a little bit early. Saving the touchdown. Nice timing by that defender. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. Can't hang on in the end zone. And that one is going to drive him crazy when he watches it. It'll be third down. Oh, the offense just not able to come up with that. You knew that was going to be a bang-bang play, right? They're taking a shot into the end zone. That's going to have to be a contested catch on the back end. But he wasn't able to come up with it because of the hit. They keep attacking through the air. And that one's going to be over everybody's head and incomplete. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal.
It is true as he puts three on the board. And now the lead is even bigger. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. To the air. It's Jefferson. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but, man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down two scores. Jesse, you got a good opportunity. Create some momentum. Cut it to a one-score game. This is an important possession. Yeah, it's important to create that momentum now, David, too, and not wait to get it going here at the start of the third quarter. You've got one drive here to get a couple of points. You've got to start erasing and chipping away at this deficit. This could be where the game turns right here. They'll mark him down at the 40 after ripping off 10. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Trying to find his man on first down. Wide open downfield. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. They build their attack around those big plays, and they got one to give them a first and 10 in the red zone at the 18. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. He finds a dead spot in the middle. Touchdown, UCF! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. The returner will field it and bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. That's caught. It's Hayden. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with a first down. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. Makes the grab. It's Hunter. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. Caught over the middle, it's Horn. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock and they'll get a quick breather. Hey, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty and he runs really good routes. You saw it on that play. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Working that left side now. 
Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. Well, this defense is being challenged, and this secondary in particular. And I know a DB made the tackle there, but we're only in the second quarter. And already, this quarterback has over 200 yards passing. And the Buffaloes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Fires deep toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. The pass falls incomplete, and there are eight seconds left. And that's where quarterbacks, you know, they got to be very assertive. They got to believe what they see and really pull the trigger. But the longer they wait and they get off rhythm or off timing, a lot of times it ends up in incomplete passes. They were really starting to put a drive together. But after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Catch open down the middle. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. And in the closing moments of the first half, they'll try to put a three spot on the board. They've already put one field goal on the board. This one will need to be well struck from 44 yards out. It's good. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great scene there in Orlando. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys just down the road from our EA Sports studios at the Bounce House. The Knights will kick it away first and we'll start the second half. Here he comes with the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the middle. Pulls it in. And a nice grab there. Big pickup down to the 35-yard line. Really nice job by quarterback and wide receiver. This is why you do film work. This is why you throw on air all offseason. I know I get zone coverage. I know exactly where I'm breaking. I know exactly where to deliver the football. Nice throw, nice catch. The Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. Wants to throw. It's Sanders. Dumps it to the back. It's complete. I think that receiver really had two choices there. Catch the ball, or he was going to wear it in his chest. Yeah, he was going to be maybe taking a, an ice bath after too many of these curl routes and catches them in the body like that. This quarterback has a cannon arm. The receiver found a soft spot in the zone, and, man, the quarterback gave him no choice. The play-action fake. Throws toward the end zone. 
and it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell he extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Ball's at the 26. It's third and short, and they'd love to pick up the first down and avoid settling for the field goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. So here comes the field goal unit. They've been doing work today. They've already made a couple. He's going to try to punch one through from 45 yards away. It's good. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? On the ground, it's Harvey. Oh, what a move! He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And running backs are so good, so talented, so elusive. You see, nowadays, they really have the ability to make you miss, run you over. Unbelievable effort. Nice job. You keep that going, it's going to be hard to stop. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Right back to the well. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. The Knights headed quickly to the line. Leaves it with the back. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Back to throw. It's Jefferson. Unloads to the wideout. He's open on the right. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Caught in the backfield, it's Harvey. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. You can hand it to him. You can throw it to him. Either way, he's making his presence felt. Those are your favorite plays, Reese. The him plays, right? <laughs> They're finding ways to get him the ball because he can make plays, whether it's running or receiving out of the backfield. They're going to continue to highlight this guy. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. This defense obviously came into this game prepared for the quarterback run. Linebackers, DBs, they're keying on him and just waiting for him to pull that football, and you saw their ability to get hats to the ball quickly. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. Caught in the backfield, it's Hudson. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. Well, give the defense credit on that one, because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. And they'll kick it from the left side, a 44-yard try. 
And this one splits the upright. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Crosses the 30 to the 31 and a six-yard pickup. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. Using his legs, it's Hayden. Not a lot of daylight, he gets one to the 32. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. Looking to throw for it. He makes the connection. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. From the gun, the ground game. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. And just a great job by the defense being stout, right? That's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's 101. Stop the run first. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Dropping back, it's Sanders. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long with different ways to affect him. We weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. That's why the ball falls in. And the Buffaloes will punt it away on fourth down. Finally sending out a punter in this one. Got to make sure they earn their letter. They'll get him corralled and down at about the 19-yard line. The UCF offense back on the field ready to go to work. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. The Knights are in the hurry up. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. A 
if you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? The Knights are stopped, but not before getting the first down. And that's so tough as a defense because they only got to get inches. But I got to find a way to somehow get a knockback. Stop the running back's feet right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because a major statistic in football in terms of winning and losing is how good are you at staying on the field, keeping drives alive. Whether it's third and one. He's off to the races. Touchdown, Knights! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. Yeah, it just gets in the zone, right? When you can't miss, you, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that no matter what they do. They're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making him feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little bit confused. You can't just let him pick you apart. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point gives him a one-point lead here in the fourth. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the final 53 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he's coming out of the end zone. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. The Buffaloes want to move quickly. He'll pull it on the read. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. And this option attack can lull you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. Went to the running game on first down, now second down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Lining up to convert third down. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Oh, he makes a catch. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. Third down, a lot of times, it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Single back formation and they give it to him. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. A field goal attempt from this spot would be 52 yards out. A few yards on third down would make it easier. 
they'll try to get the first through the air. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free, and fourth down is coming up. And after that incompletion at this juncture of the game, field goal here would be nice on fourth down, obviously, but do you trust your defense to keep getting stops? If you don't, you've got to go for it here on fourth and short. And they are coming out for what will be a huge field goal attempt. He got it. And they've regained the lead. All field goals are not created equal, guys. Kicks in the fourth quarter to take the lead. They just seem to carry so much more weight. So give that young man credit for getting out there and knocking that thing through the uprights with all of the pressure, with all the eyeballs on him. He delivered. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. The Knights want to crank the tempo. Looking to throw, it's Jefferson. Takes the easy one to the back. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. He'll take it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, they went QB designed run, but there just was nowhere for the quarterback to go. Couldn't go outside, and there was just way too many bodies on the inside for him to get anything positive. They lose a yard. The Knights send out the punt unit. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. And every coach in America has a plan for this situation. The first four minutes of the game, the last four minutes of the game. How I'm going to construct my offense. Most of the time, i got to be physical. Run the football like right here. Run that clock. Get a few first downs, and I can end this football game on offense. On second down, he'll let it fly. Feeling some heat. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. And if you didn't know this was a big play, the crowd is telling you. A huge third down. To the air, it's Sanders. Makes a connection. At the 35, he's got room. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And it's not an accident. They're featuring this guy. His second receiving touchdown of the game. That's your job as a coach. Find my playmakers, get them the ball, so they can do damage and have games like this right here. This extra point is sizable. Make this, and you're in great position to walk out of here with a win. The kick is up and good, and put one more on the lead. 
Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish with a 62-yard pass for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? The sure hands. It's Pittman. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, they've got a ways to go if they're going to win this game. It's all about getting the drive started. They come away with a positive play to get this thing going. Let's see what they can do now. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. Looking to move it through the air. He unleashes a long one. It's complete. A huge pickup. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Not only do you have the big gain and you sort of knock the defense back, but you're also set up in the red zone. Yeah, they've got this defense on their heels right now after that big play. We talked about this offense being explosive. Now that they're in the red zone, let's see what they dial up next. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Finds his man. It's Townsend. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion. Nice catch. The Knights come to the line in the hurry up. Looking downfield, it's Jefferson. He wants it all. To the end zone, and it's picked off. Not only a great play, but tremendous discipline by this sophomore to make the pick. It doesn't get any better for your defense. You know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter. Everything in your favor. Don't let them make big plays. How about you make a big play? Nice job getting the interception. It's not icing on the cake yet, but it's getting pretty close. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Smart move to keep it on the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Backing up and backing up on the first two plays, now to try to throw it in drive on third down. To the ground with the back. Bad decision there by the ball carrier to go out of bounds because you've stopped the clock, and now you've given the defense an opportunity to get off the field. If you go for it here on fourth and short, you don't get it. All of the momentum is now on your opponent's side. And the Buffaloes will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. And boy, they missed an opportunity last time throwing that pick in the red zone, David. Yeah, and you got to put that frustration behind you. You can't turn it over. That's, that's a cardinal sin. You know better than that, Jesse. You can't take points off the board. But you got to move on. I, you do. I, I think he just got way too overeager down in, in the red zone that last drive. So just come out here, trust your reads, trust what your coaches have told you to do, and just go out and execute the offense. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. Looking to go up top on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. You know, I think at this situation in the game, trailing like they are with only a couple minutes to go, short throws aren't going to get it done. You're going to have to be a lot more aggressive and start taking chances if you want to give yourself a chance to win this game. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. Looking to pass. It's Jefferson. 
That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. Fires to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. you got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Finds his man, and they convert. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. You need to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. Oh, man, the quarterback almost just threw his second interception on his many drives. He's trying to fit that football in there. It gets tipped up in the air. He's lucky that wasn't picked off. Couldn't get anything done on first down. Now second and 10 from the 46. A strike downfield. Give him six and give them a chance with the late touchdown still alive in this one. If we had any chance to make this happen, we had to score with a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive. And they finish with a big play, a touchdown strike from the 46. Just under 40 seconds to go, and it's going to come down to whether they can get this onside kick to have a shot. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. And he'll be tackled, but there is a flag on the field. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Down to a knee here. The defense still has a couple of timeouts if they want to use them. 